On, on my first dive going really deep, which was in the New Britain Trench, the target depth was 27,000 feet. And I knew that I was going to be diving deeper than any other piloted submersible in the world operationally right now could go. Um, and that it would be a solo record and that sort of thing. And um, as, I was, as I was going down, and I think I was at around 26,000 feet, things started to fail on the sub. And it was one system after another after another. And I was trying to chase down what was happening. And I couldn't tell if it was pressure related or, or what was going on. Uh, I began to suspect that it was the, the, the uh, what they call the PAC, uh, the control computer that all the systems ran through, uh, that, that controlled everything by serial protocols out through just a, a small number of penetrators. And um, it, it was a little spooky because I, you know, I lost my altimeter, I lost my depth gauge, I lost control of the lighting systems, I lost control of the, the, the uh, propulsion and so on. And I was really debating if I should, uh, if I should go on. And I, um, at a certain point, I wound up re releasing shot ballast because I, I didn't know, I, now I didn't know where the bottom was and I had no way of seeing it coming. I didn't want to crash into it. And I wound up getting myself ballasted a little bit positive. Uh, and because I'd lost control of the propulsion system, I couldn't drive down to the bottom. So I actually never saw the bottom of that dive. So I had to drop the ballast weights and come back up. And it turned out that it was one line of code that they had written the night before <laughs> that I had asked them to do.